Today we're gonna to talk about the strangest thing I have ever eaten while traveling. Welcome back to Travel Talk Tuesday. This is a weekly collaboration that I do with a bunch of other travel vloggers here on YouTube. I'll have all their channels linked down below as well as a playlist so you can watch everybody's videos on this topic. Everybody is from different countries, has traveled to different places, so it's really awesome to get all the different perspectives on each of these topics that we talk about each week. This week we're talking about weird foods, like the weirdest foods that we ever ate while traveling. I've eaten some weird stuff. <laughs> you guys probably know from the sheer number of taste tests that I've done that I'm not afraid to try weird foods. And also, I lived in China last year and China is full of foods that are remarkably different than the foods that I'm used to here in the US. Okay, so let's start with the runner-ups. We've got four runner-ups and we've got one winner for the weirdest foods. Number five, the least weird out of the weird foods. Tropical fruits with weird textures. And I know that sounds very broad, but I'm really talking about two different fruits. One of them is durian. One of them is sugar apple. But basically, there were some tropical fruits that I tried that had the weirdest textures, like a snot texture. I'm not gonna go beyond that. Let's just move on to number four. <laughs> this is not a strange food per se, but uh, it was a very strange experience. Basically, we had our lunch slaughtered in front of us. It was a chicken and then they cooked up the whole thing and by the whole thing I mean the whole thing chicken feet that little weird gobbler thing on the end of its neck the beak everything obviously they defeathered it and cleaned it and all that kind of stuff but then after that they just chop it up fry it up serve it to you delicious it was super good but there were some very strange pieces of meat in that bowl of food. I think the weirdest to me was that little thing that hangs off the rooster's chin. Oh, maybe it's on the top of their head. Am I imagining that it's on the bottom? I think it's the thing on the top of a rooster's head. But yeah, we ate that. <laughs> we ate the feet. We ate some intestines. Basically, I picked some pieces out with chopsticks and I just ate them. Didn't think about it too much. <laughs> it's very hot today, so if you see me sweating, it's because I'm sweating. <laughs> The third weirdest thing I ate in China. Oh, you know what, actually come to think of it, these are all in China. So yeah, the third weirdest thing I ate in China was stinky tofu, also known as chodofu. Basically, it's a type of fermented tofu that has a very distinctive smell. It smells like rotting garbage. It's a street food in China. And if it's being served wherever you are, you know it because you can smell it from very far away. So I had smelled chodofu many, many, many times before I ever tasted it. And the primary reason I tasted it is because I was chickening out over the scorpions and the freaky like caterpillars and all kinds of weird creepy stuff at the Wang Fu Jing night market and so suddenly stinky tofu didn't sound so weird anymore. And you know what? I actually liked it. I actually ate the majority of it. I liked stinky tofu. It has kind of like a fermented taste to it, which gives it this complexity that's actually really yummy and like earthy and really unique. So I love the flavor of it. I despise the smell of it. It's kind of like durian. When you smell it, not enjoyable. It smells like rotting melons. When you eat it, much better. I actually do like fresh durian and I actually do like stinky tofu. Number two, also eaten at the Wang Fu Jing night market, was fried crickets. I tortured myself through this experience and forced myself to at least chew on all of them. I don't know that I actually like consumed much of the bug. I feel like I like bit down on it and it was crunchy and it was like okay at first and then I would feel one of their legs in my mouth and then I would feel a wing in my mouth and I would just like be pulling pieces out and I'm like every single one that I would eat would start out okay and then eventually it was like Blech, and I just spit it out. <laughs> it's just that texture. I've had bugs several times before, but usually they're a little smaller <laughs> and a little more like cleaned up, especially if they're served in the US. But this was like eating an entire cricket that was just deep fried, just straight up deep fried. I'm pretty sure they get these bugs, they skewer them while they're alive, and then they fry them and they're wiggling. And I'm sorry if that is TMI, but that's the reality of it. So I don't imagine that they're cleaned up very well. <laughs> All right, and the number one weirdest thing I ever ate while traveling, it's gotta be hands down pork intestine soup that we accidentally ordered in Beijing. How did you accidentally order intestine soup, you may ask? I don't know. Okay, so basically we were walking around Ho Hai Lake and this is from my Beijing travel vlog. The very first time I ever went to Beijing, we weren't living there yet and we were just looking for a place to eat, starting to get hangry. We see this place that looks busy. They've got food cooking in the front. It looks really good, like nice pieces of pork. I think Eric asked them the top two things on their menu. It was dumplings and then this type of 
soup. So we got an order of dumplings, we got an order of soup, and we shared it all. And that soup was not what we were expecting. Plus, on top of that, we were being stared at hardcore by every single person in that restaurant because clearly foreigners don't walk in there very often. <laughs> and so they were staring at us, which made us feel like we had to eat at least a portion of the soup. Eric and I both really didn't enjoy the soup. Honestly, like the flavors were good, but that texture of the intestines that they used, like they had like stomach lining and uh, like, you know, ugh, all kinds of weird like very unappetizing looking pieces with weird textures. I feel proud of the amount of soup that we did eat as far as, you know, looking like we enjoyed ourselves. We just pretended the whole time and, you know, maybe they bought it, maybe they didn't, that's fine. And we will never eat that soup again. Zero out of 10, would not recommend. I honestly think that with textures like that, where you have like a weird piece of meat or you have a weird fruit or a weird vegetable, it's so hard to eat something like that that's so foreign as an adult. Something like stinky tofu, where it's like like a super foreign idea to me, like this cooked recipe is super weird, is somehow easier for me to taste than a whole plant-based or like animal-based product that I'm unfamiliar with. It's something about that just like raw, natural state that it's in that makes it hard when you didn't grow up with it and you're just not familiar with it. So I struggled my way through that intestine soup and uh, I may never go back, but I would try intestines again. I did try intestines again after that. There are lots of ways to prepare intestines properly in ways that they would be completely hidden to me. I'm, I'm sure I ate intestines without even knowing it many times in China, but that's fine. It's just really when you pull out a piece of meat in the soup and you just look at it and you're like, this is not something I'd normally go for. That's when it gets a little weird. Please comment below, what is the strangest food you've ever eaten while traveling or not traveling? I don't care. I just wanna know all about the weird foods that you ate. And I'm really excited to compile a Fearless Fan Strange Foods list. So let's do that. Thanks for watching today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.